Won't you go where you been? Yeah, won't you go where you? Yeah, I pay tribute to Gary. That's the same way. Boy, I don't preach for all the time. Oh, uh, they don't need the Lord, Gary, until they get in trouble. And you know what? If the Lord was a smart aleck like I said, he'd look at folks and say, Why well, didn't you go ask your God that you serve? That's right. Yeah. He won't give me nothing. Go ask your daddy. <laughs> Be like Zach going to one of you. Asking you for something, so you would buy me a new guitar, would you? <laughs> well, probably most of you, and I hope you would say, so, "Ask your daddy." No, you say, "Go ask your daddy." <laughs> yeah, it's his job. <laughs> Jesus come out of the wilderness, there, and he was hungry. Yeah, he was. Been fasting for. Oh my goodness, we don't hear that preached on very much either. Yeah, I won't preach on it because I'm afraid I might have to practice it. <laughs> God help us. But anyway, he come out there and the devil was there. Yeah. See, we get upset. And, and it's not pleasant. It, it, it's not a good thing to fight the devil. I get tired of it, don't you? We're just endure the end, Karen. He's going to be cast far away from us. Yeah. He's going to be cast, and all of his angels are going to be cast into the lake of fire. Amen. That's what's going to make heaven heaven, Gary. Yeah. There ain't going to be no trials, tribulation, tests, no sorry. Everything's going to be heaven. Why? Wow. We're in heaven. But what do we do? We want to have a heaven now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah. I, I was telling you not too long ago, I've never seen the beat till Tam and I had Zach and Jenna. But a Christmas didn't happen till till Christmas came, Gary. Yeah. No sir, and Tammy got this bright idea. She put up stockings in there every night before uh, Christmas, seven days before Christmas. Uh, the elves came and put presents. I said, I've never seen anything in all my life. My goodness gracious, I was grown in the wrong generation. Yeah. I'll tell you another thing that goes, goes on. I might go on to y'all's house, uh, and it's been that way. Zach's 21, Jenna's 8. Soon be 19 years old, and Jenna has a birthday. Poor old Zach's gonna get a present too. I never seen him in there. I would have racked up. There's just two of them. They was five of us. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. And we're spread out. It would have been birthday all through the year. And that's the way folks are today. Yeah. They want their heaven on earth. Yeah. Gary, the Bible said, and Job said, man born of a woman, few days and full of courage. He never promised us it'd be like that, Gary. But you know what he did promise? He'd be by our side. The devil said, well, if you who you say you are, talk to him like we do. God, I want to sign. I've heard people that 40 years old or more say, God, I need a sign. If you're real, and I'm talking people that's been serving the Lord a long time. And the devil come along quite often. I don't care. Some of you older Christians, the devil's probably told you this week that, oh, the Lord ain't really real. But you got to tell him, get thee behind you. That's right. Amen. Y'all pay attention now and help me. Uh-huh. But anyway, Gary, mm -hmm. the devil said, if you're, I've been five minutes trying to get this one phrase out. He said, if you who you say you are, he said, won't you just make this, these rocks into missions? Don't say that. I'm glad you read that part. Could have. He said, command these stones that they be buried. Jesus looked at him and he said, I'm going to tell you something. He said, it's written. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. Well, the devil wasn't said, thank you for that. The devil wasn't satisfied with that, Gary, so he took him up into a great high mountain where he could look up out on all the cities of the earth. And he looked out there. He said, tell you what. He said, I'll give you all of this. He said, if you'll fall down and serve me and worship. Jesus got the scripture out. All this will preach too, and I'll just go ahead and throw it in since the Lord brought it to my mind. Don't blame me. My mind wasn't even thinking about it, Gary. Uh, and so the Lord must have wanted somebody to hear it. Yes, sir. And I got to, maybe there's somebody standing outside and everybody else. 
Gary, sometimes we get in trouble because we don't read enough. The Word of God said study to show thyself approved. Amen. A lot of times the only scripture that folks know, Gary, is what they've heard sing or sing about the, and the Sunday school teacher talk about the, and listen if you can't read God will make a way Gary they got tapes and, oh poor old Gary wouldn't it have been a sight to, he could have got by with it to, oh he can't he can't see so therefore hey, he can't read oh guess what Gary somebody yes sir somebody God bless somebody one time said I'm going to make a way for the blind people too so he put a lot of a bunch of little dots I feel like preaching three hours. <laughs> Jesus said it's written again. He knew the word. We need to know the word. <laughs> what did he say very to him the second time? He shall love you. He <laughs> said men shall love the Lord thy God. Yes sir. Reed. He looked at him and said, it's, it's not that men should worship any other. The devil said, well, he ain't going to get that. Took him up on a pinnacle in the temple. And he told him, Gary, he said, if you who you say you are, cast yourself down. Said the angels will come and take charge and rescue you. He looked at him and he quoted him some more scripture. Didn't budge. Didn't budge. Didn't budge. Gary, how long have you been serving him now? 30 years. 30 years. He ain't budged, has he, buddy? He's still the same as he was yesterday. Amen. Gary, he's still the same that you found 30 years ago. He ain't budged, has he found? Guess what? He ain't going to budge. Praise the Lord. You can count on him. He's a rock. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. He said, cast yourself down. Jesus said, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. He said, I ain't budging. He won't budge. Listen to me. He said, in their Jerusalem, how often would I have gathered thy children together even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings? Did you catch what it said there in the last four words of verse 37? Mm -hmm. He said, and ye would not. not. Gary, yeah. they tried to trip him up all the time. What? You remember when the priest, they come to him. They began to ask him about the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, they, they caught his disciples there plucking corn on the Sabbath day and eating. Mm -hmm. He didn't budge there either. Nope. They looked at him one time, Gary, and he was about to heal somebody. Mm -hmm. And he asked him, listen to me. He said, what about the Sabbath? He said, is it lawful? And he preached him a message, Gary. He did not budge. No sir. You remember one time, Gary, he was preaching, he was teaching. And his mother, the Bible said his mother came up to him. Gary, he forsook everything for me and you. He denied his own flesh that you and I could have life, Gary. Listen to me. As a weasel or what? Bible said he was preaching and he was teaching one day, and his mother and his brethren came up, Gary, and they began and said they desired to talk with him, speak to him about something. Yep. He kept on preaching and said just a little while some of those that he was speaking to, Gary began to talk to him. Yeah. Yeah. Said your mommy's out here and your brother. He said, yeah. said uh, maybe I'll go out and talk to him. He looked at him, Gary. He said, who's my brother yeah. and who's my mother? Listen to me, Gary. 